everyone, my name is Foodie Hero, and welcome to today's Destiny 2 latest build video. This week's build is all about staying airborne with this warlock centric build designed for peak shooting, long range fights, or getting drop on the others. So, firstly, let's start with the subclass, which will be the Atonement of Flame Tree. This subclass is all about aggressive airborne mobility, which is perfect for a little setup we're going for. Now, Fated for the Flame allows us, once we activate our super, to send a streak of flame towards our enemies. That both tracks, which is great for shutting down areas, or finishing those that make a run for it. While also Everlasting Fire extends our super the more kills we get with it. So now, the two combined, plus its fast mobility can turn you to a literal phoenix of death and destruction. Don't forget, you also have Phoenix Down, which if you're midair can allow you to recover your health quickly, and in your super phase can allow you to dive and do a large explosive damage within your immunicity. I've noticed that if you do that, it does one shot the majority of your players. Our jump will be the Burst Glide, to allow us to go fast in small bursts, which helps a lot in PvP as it makes it harder for you to be hit, but also it's just so effective when using a slug shotgun, as you can launch yourself towards someone midair and get a nice snipe along the way. For our stats, we are rocking a 355 with our following armor in mind. Now for helm perks, I'm running a pump action in the middle tree, which allows me to gain super energy upon shotgun kills, and shotgun reserves which increases how much shotgun ammo I can carry. Both perks synchronize well, and can be effective if you know how to fully utilize a slug shotgun, and be aggressive at the same time. Our gloves, we have fast ball in the middle tree, which allows us to throw grenades further, and shotgun scavenger, which increases how much shotgun ammo we get when we pick the ammo up. Fast ball doesn't offer a lot to us, but shotgun scavenger pairs well with our helmet, and is the preferred choice of perk to run if you're a shotgun ape user. Our main armor piece is the exotic tome of dawn chest piece, which provides the following. When dawn blade is equipped, aiming weapons mid air suspend you for a short duration. Weapon hits extend your duration. Now perk wise, that doesn't sound that great at first, but when you think about it, you're taking the wing sun perk from your top tree, with an added bonus of allowing you to extend your duration in air every time you land a hit. So this can play out in one to two ways. The first way is that you can use the exotic perk for peak shooting when behind your team or behind cover to pick people off at long distance, do callouts if you're in a team, or general support your teammates who is in an engagement, but you don't want to confront as well. The second option is that you can bait people into attacking you if you're in a small room for example with a tall ceiling. In this method, if I know I'm getting chased by someone and I'm in an enclosed area, once I'm around the corner out of sight of the enemy, I can jump and activate the chest exotic to suspend myself mid-air. And then if everything goes as planned, they're running thinking I'm still there because I'd most likely be paying attention to the radar, but I'm actually in the air which I can then go ahead and ambush them using my secondary or my even my primary if I want to. It's a very underused exotic that most people should try out within the crucible, as I can see it being helpful and competitive in some situations. Our boots, we have perpetration in the middle dream, which reduces class ability cooldown when we use our ability, and scout rifle scavenger, which increases how much ammo we pick up. Perpetration is an all rounder great perk to have, simply because it rewards you for using your gear, and can work even better if you add on a grenade or paragon mod to complement it. Our bond lastly has innovation, which reduces grenade cooldown upon collecting orbs of light, and heavy ammo finder. Innovation can work wonders if you're in a team who uses mass work weapons, and can produce a pool of orbs for you to pick up and use to recharge your grenades at a fast rate. You can literally have a near infinite amount of grenades and supers in a match, if done correctly. Our weapons are the following. In my primary, I'm using the Jade Rabbit Exotic Scout Rifle for its long range capabilities, damage, smoothness, and its ability to free tap players easily within 10 plus meters, and more. Its exotic perk, the Fate of All Fools, allows you to increase precision damage after landing a body shot, and also gives full ammo back upon a successful kill. Now, it's good, but kind of redundant to use in Crucible, as this weapon is already a free tap, and the increased precision damage does not change a lot for us. Useful in PvE though, against larger enemies with larger crit spots, but even then damage isn't all that great, but the reload upon kills can help in heated fights, so that's always a plus. If you ever use this weapon in PvE, make sure you use it for ag clearing as that's where his Zord perk seems to be the most effective in. For our secondary, we have the Good Bone Structure Slug Shotgun, which is starting to become one of my most favourite archetypes in the game. 
The perks on the weapon fit it well for being accurate in landing precision shots, either mid-air, thanks to my Icarus mod, or while moving and ADSing via my moving target perk. Now you can always use other shotguns if you wish, but the good thing about slug shotguns are that they reward you upon landing efficient headshots, but for the build, it's great to use when you're in mid-air because of the slug effectiveness and range, which can beat out any normal shotguns in terms of one-hit KOs. Now you need an Icarus Grip mod to help with making it easier to land while in the air, but once that's attached it gives you the option to be effective on both land and air. Plus if we combine in our burst glide jumps for an initial boost of mid air speed, and you have quite a wild time with this. But please play around with the weapon first, as slug shotties at first do feel good, but they're not easy to use at first hand. I'd probably say the first weapon you want to go ahead and test this out is probably play around with the Chaperone exotic weapon if you have it. Play around with that weapon, get a good feel of it, and then once you feel you're efficient with it, then go ahead with a good bone structure and practice with your mid-air shots, and then see the difference. Lastly for my heavy, I'm using the Bad Omens rocket launcher with the following perks. Great for using if you're going to be staying in the air for the majority of the time, as you can truly live out being an AC-130. Now please remember that all the weapons I'm showing you, and some of the armor pieces I'm showing you, are down to my preferable choice, and I've given a brief explanation as to why I'm using them. Now you don't have to go ahead and use all weapons I'm currently showing, but it's best if you follow what I have on screen, and then once you play around with it, you can then adjust it to how you want it to be. And this will be the same for all my other builds videos as well. All weapons I will show will be down to my preferable choice, with explanation, same with the armor, but once you play around with it, it's all down to you and how you want to play it out. Using this in the Crucible is something of an old experience that you should try out simply so you can get away from the common meta and try out new avenues or player styles for future encounters. The great thing about this build is that not many people are used to the idea of attacking from within the air as a legitimate strategy, unless you're jumping as a hunter with a shotgun. So you'll be able to catch people off guard, but on top of that it also gives you a nice field of view of what's going on within the map and further help in supporting your teammates from behind the line at a safe distance if you choose. While you won't always be in the air sometimes, some on-ground CQC will be needed for the more aggressive plays. This is where the good bone structure shotgun comes in. Effective in the air with the Icarus grip mod and on the ground, making it a perfect weapon of choice for the different scenarios you may face. The weapon archetype is a precision frame designed for landing headshots with near perfect aim and has quite an effective range with around 7 plus meters being in the near sweet spot. Like I mentioned before, it might be tough at first but once you get the hang of the weapon it's very worthwhile to use and very rewarding. A few downsides of the build is that using your scout rifle or any weapon in general in the air causes the bullet drop for a weapon to start early. So you'll need to remember that once you're in the air it's advised to aim above the intended area that you wish to hit so the bullet drop will be accurately hitting the area that you want. Secondly, while you're in the air, it does make you an open target against those that are aware of your presence. This would mean that they will fully be prepared to counter back if they see you either by charging at you with a close call weapons or using a long range weapon to pick you off. Now the weapon you have will allow you to counter back, but just be aware that these people will be onto you the moment you start acting up. And there you go. A airborne build for you to use in the crucible that I'm sure you have a lot of fun using in just standard crucible. Don't try this out in competitive just of yet until you're a bit more experienced, I would say. Now if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like, a comment, or even better subscribe for more content like this in the future. But once again, thanks for coming by and I'll see you in the next one. You captured zone C. Zone advantage is yours.
Three minutes left. Be captured. You have advantage. Zone C lost. You captured Zone A. You have zone advantage. Zone B lost. Together as one. I love it. Cora would be proud of you, Warlock. <laughs> Keep this up, and the battle is yours. One minute left. Ten seconds. Sound tactics bring victory. 